Hey guys, Jack here. So we're going to be doing a Hearthstone video, and basically what's going on is Hearthstone had a limited time promotion for their uh, bundle. It's called the Get In Here Bundle. So normally Hearthstone packs are not super cheap, right? It's two dollars for uh, it's two ninety nine for two packs, so that comes out to about a buck fifty per pack. This bundle, if you pay it in bundles of eight, you're technically paying eighty cents per pack. So that's not exactly half price, but it's almost there because uh, 75 cents would be half price. Anyways, this comes close to the deal you would get off a pre-order because the 50 for $40 uh, pre-order deals um, usually come out to, I believe it's 50 for $40 pre-order deals if I'm not mistaken. I can't view it right now, but I'm assuming because you the this is 40 packs for $50, but the pre-order is kind of reverse where it's like $40 for 50, I think. Uh, I'm not certain, but if, if that's the case, uh, that would also come out to 80 cents. So this is overall a pretty good deal, and you can buy it as many times as you want. So I'd recommend, uh, if you want to save big on packs right now, uh, this is probably one of your best opportunities, honestly, because you only, only buy the pre-order once. And it looks like my Hearthstone is frozen, so that's not good. But we're going to open these up and let Hearthstone cool off for a bit. So, okay, hold up. And we should be good. All right, let me just readjust the uh, resolution here. I have it back on 1600 by 900. Okay. Oh, needs to readjust again because every time you move it, it. Uh... Okay. There we go. Um, looks like its resolution's not perfectly lined up in here. So let me get it lined up on OBS. Uh, that way it works out well. There we go. All right, now everything should be lined up well. All right, let's start. We're gonna start from the oldest to newest, so we're gonna go with the classic packs. And I have one pack from a quest I completed, so. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so nothing special here, just rare. I have most of these cards already. Interest I did not realize Fen Creeper was in the classic set. Uh, again, have most of these. Rampage used to be very good in the uh, OTK Worgen deck. Unfortunately, it's not good anymore. All right, Epic, let's see. Pyroblast is a good card, but I already have two of them, so not really much to say. Honestly, not expecting much from the Classic Packs, because I do have most of the useful cards in the Classic Pack. Uh, there are some Legendaries, I guess, that would be nice to get, but yeah. All right, another Epic, um, Earth Elemental. I don't have that, but I don't think it's seeing play in Shaman. I don't think it's going to be seeing play anytime soon, really. I don't recall the last time this saw play anyways, either. Uh, again, nothing unexpected. Have most of the cards here. Priestess of a Loon. Again, did not realize that's in the classic pack. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, just another. All these cards are all these cards are pretty solid, and I think I've seen playing before. Not sure about Argent Protector, but Battle Cry Divine Shield. All right, this is the final pack of Destiny Boys. Let's see if there's any legendaries. That's a rare, and eh, no legendaries. Okay, so um. Yeah, I mean, nothing special from it. Like I said, wasn't expecting much, but this is a good opportunity to save big on dust. You know, if you want to save money on dust, this is a pretty good idea. All right, now we're on the Angoro packs. So these came out last year around the rotation uh, in March or April, I believe, of 2017, I think. So let's see what we get in here. Again, not expecting much. Have most of the Angoro cards I want. Um, hopefully we don't open another Tyrantus if we do get a Legendary. Okay. Uh, most of these I have. Obviously, I disenchanted the bad ones before. Um, let's see. Uh, nothing special here. These cards... Uh, Tark Reaper is a good card, but again, have that. Okay, let's see what epic it is. And Emerald High Queen. Yeah, not a very good card. Does not see play. If we can get one or two legendaries, that'd be very good out of, like, any of these packs. Uh, Alright, final pack of Destiny. Let's go. Okay. And nothing good. All right. So, again, not expecting much. Now, in these three, I'm hoping to at least get one Legendary. It would be pretty average. We had 30 packs. a uh, 31 packs, sorry. Because, uh, yeah, 6 times 5 plus the 1. So, we had 31 packs. That should equate to... I mean, 40 is a pity timer, right? Which means, on average, 20 to 30 cards, you should probably get a Legendary. But uh, I don't know what pity timers I had specifically on each of these uh, sets. Because the pity timer is set-based, I believe. So, we shall see. All right, epic. Golden rare is good for disenchant. Meat wagon. I've gotten a lot of meat wagons, and I haven't seen a super viable meat wagon deck yet. So uh, I'll keep disenchanting them, but I know I'll regret it one day if it's good. 
Um, Doomerang. I actually do not have Doomerang. If the rogue deck where... Um, so there is a rogue deck uh, out, and it is known as... Um, oh God, I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, the Fatigue Rogue with the uh, weapon... Kingsbane Rogue. Kingsbane Rogue. Um, that ran it, but I didn't want to craft some of the epics in that deck, and now I have Do Doomerang. So if that does come into meta again, it would be pretty good. Hey, epic, another one. Two epics, and I already have Culkin Guys, but I do not have Corpse Taker, and Corpse Taker is actually a pretty good card. So it's likely we see that come in at some point, so hey, saving dust. That's 400 dust right there. Okay, Goldens, easy disenchants. Nice. And the final pack of Destiny for this set. Epic. So we got a lot of epics from here, and Toxic Hero is kind of a shitty card. But that's a lot of disenchants for us. Now, Kobolds was the most uh, fruitful packs for me uh, when I opened them. I got like 7 legendaries from like 50 Kobolds packs. That was pretty crazy. Um, Wishwood, however, was not very lucky. I got like 2 legendaries, so... Hopefully, this will continue to be fruitful, and hopefully this will go better than last time. Epic. Golden Rare. Okay, Psychic Stream, I already have... I think I actually have 2 of Psychic Stream, so... I'm Ah, the darkness. I actually used to have a golden darkness before that I disenchanted because um, I'd rather, you know, the darkness wasn't seeing play. 1600 dust, I get another legendary. Probably going to disenchant darkness again. Maybe one day darkness sees plays, or maybe it's viable and wild for some sort of um, deck that uses Kazakis, you know, one ofs. But I just don't see that happening, and I don't see myself... Uh, I, I do play wild, but I don't see myself teching that specifically for wild. But hey, we got a legendary, so... Uh, fairly average in terms of what we want, but we actually got a lot of epic, so I'd say we're probably above average right now in terms of pulls. But, you know, I, as I suspected, it was likely Kobolds would be the most fruitful. Just statistically, uh, that's around, like, what, 30... Uh, we're getting closer to the 30-pack limit. Plus, Kobolds just historically, you know, in my heart, I felt it, right? Kobolds gave me those lucky, uh, lucky cards. Uh, but, yeah. Final pack of Destiny for Kobolds of Canacombs. All right, nothing amazing. Okay, another sweeping ooze. Now, Witchwood, I'm not very hopeful on. Witchwood uh, was not a very fruitful time for me. I got like two legendaries from their 70 packs or so. Um, and then another one from the uh, login bonus. Okay, let's see. Nothing amazing here. Now, Witchwood, however, since I don't have as many Witchwood cards, these packs are technically more valuable because they could be potentially getting cards that... um. I still need and would otherwise craft. Like, le mostly epics that are expensive, right? Okay, nothing great. Golden Epic is... Ah. See, I want to disenchant, but this is actually viable in a token druid deck as of now, as of uh, May 5th, 2018. So, probably keep this and make a token druid deck. I need one more of those, but I have enough dust to craft. And uh, nothing amazing here. So, we got pretty average pulls. Um, we got a lot of epics in one of uh, in the Frozen Throne ones, and we got the legendary out of the Kobolds. So, overall, I'd say maybe average to above average. I might be wrong, of course. So, let's go into collection and see how much uh, extra dust we're going to be getting from the disenchants. So, 1,235 dust from three duplicate epics, 24 duplicate rares, and 91 duplicate commons. So, disenchant this, and uh, that's almost another full legendary. You'd need 400 more. But now we have enough dust for legendary and additional cards. So I'd say, um, you know, definitely these packs are pretty worth it considering uh, considering the fact that the normal cost of these is almost double the price for just buying packs. Now, the disadvantage is that these packs, if you've already bought stuff before, are less valuable than the Witchwood packs. If you, uh, Like, whichever set you spent less money on, because the more packs you buy, the more likely you are to get repeat cards. And repeat cards are disenchanted for a fraction of the value, so... Disenchant is not the best way to get things. Just buying packs and getting like the cards you want is a better way. Um, however, this is cheap, and I enjoy earning packs, so uh, it was a good experience. I enjoyed it. So anyways, this is Jack signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed.